Chip. This evening on the program, we're going to be looking at paternity tests, asking the question whether it is time to make it compulsory because many men have discovered that they are fathering children who do not belong to them. Many more women are now cheating and bringing children to be raised by the men, knowing or unknowingly. We are going to be discussing on this with our panelists who are with me in the studio this evening. But just to note that uh, most paternity tests, according to a research lab uh, report, that one third of their paternity tests have a negative result. Of all the possible fathers who take the paternity test, about 32% are not the biological father. But remember this, one third of men who have uh, reason to take a paternity test are not one third of all the men. So those who have taken up uh, the decision to make it, a research found out that 32% are not the biological father. This is according to one. But another research also said that uh, around one in 25 men could be unknowingly raising children to whom they are not biologically related. That is according to a UK research. The team based in Liverpool, John Moore's University, has reviewed previous studies to estimate the rate of paternity discrepancy worldwide. So these are results are found out uh, by researchers and um, we are going to also get inspiration from them to also make us understand what could be happening in our homes. Are you a father? Do you believe that these children are yours? They could not just be because it is always said that <laughs> it is only the mother of the house who knows the true father of our children. So we are going to be discussing on this topic with uh, Apostle Ambe Valentine Gua, who is our consultant. Good evening, Doctor. Glad to have you. Good evening, Mr. Leo. Good evening, Cameroonians. Good evening, my co-panelists. It's another Tuesday again, another joyful moment to educate our audience and our viewers across the globe on relationship issues and marriage. Today we are talking on a very sensitive topic. Uh, just stay cool on your screen while we bring you some very vital information this evening. Also with us in the studio is Apostle Alfred Isinge. Good evening. We're glad to have you. Good evening, Mr. Liu. Good evening, Apostle Dr. Ambe and uh, the great love Dr. Uh, Apostle Lefort Define. I greet all of you uh, listeners and viewers out there. Thank you for always being part of what we do. And now is another time for us to talk. Apostle Lefort Divine, the love doctor, is in the house with us. He came all the way from Boya. Good evening. Glad to have you. Good evening, Mr. Liu, and good evening to my honorable panelists, and good evening to all the viewers all over the world of uh, my Meta Prime TV. It's always an honor, and uh, uh, we are glad to be here again. I'm glad personally to be here again. It's been a little while, um, just before TLC, and now here. Um, but I'm back and I'm sure we're going to have a wonderful time. I'm glad to be here again. Beautiful and interesting topic, so please don't go anywhere. Get your people involved, your spouses, and I think it's another wonderful one. We have a lot to share. It's going to be a beautiful time. Um, Reverend uh, Mrs. Asanji, <laughs> Yvette is also <laughs> going to be coming in uh, from Bomenda to contribute to what we are discussing this evening. Apostle Ambi Valentine Gua, you got the statistics according to two uh, studies here and uh, it could be frightening or normal the way we live that um, do you want me to read them all over no Mr. I got, you, I got okay. you perfectly yes. well when, mm. <laughs> when you presented the statistics yes. earlier uh, Mr. Leo it's frightening it's frightening because uh, some years before now we did not have uh, such experiences mm. And it's rather unfortunate that uh, this era is rather proving more complicated, especially in the institution of marriage that has been one of the most confronted or fought institution in this uh, in these recent times. Uh, in the past, you could hardly first and foremost realize that uh, the idea of you could realize that the idea of cheating was not even in view because we had cultural values. And my fear is that we did not even know God so much as we know God now. By then, our traditions, our customs, our cultures kept women where they were supposed to be and kept men where they were supposed to be. 
every man could boast of a child being his and every woman could boast of the child being their husband's. But unfortunately, this day around where we think that much of God's word has gone into the society and the many servants of God have been raised in this generation, we think that we're supposed to sanitize the society and also bring the truth of God's word to push fear in the hearts of people. Instead, it happens and people think that we are promoting the things or defending the things. We are in a society where we have to have that critical analysis and studies, we now come to give you the reasons why these things happen. If we don't know why the things happen, we cannot provide a solution to those things. You must first of all do a diagnosis before you cure the situation. So when we say the reason why these things are happening is not because we are promoting why the thing is happening or it's not because we are encouraging why the thing is happening, it's simply because we are trying to make us understand that this is where the problem is coming from and then we are going to give possible solutions to curb or to arrest the situation on ground. First and foremost, the reason why I think that there's a lot of cheating because this paternity stuff, people fathering children who are not theirs, definitely is a product of cheating. Uh, the, the, the reason is sometimes has to do with the age we belong to. This age we belong to, the fear and the respect for the instant marriage has lost its shine and sheen. It has lost its value. It has lost its respect. Marriage is no longer that sacred union again that was reserved for a man and a woman or a man with women. No, this time around it has become competitive. If the man cheat, I can equally cheat. In those days, a woman could stay with a man for years. Even if a man brings a second wife, a third wife, there is no problem. But this time around, you will be with a woman per adventure. If you commit a crime, let's say cheat from outside, she retaliates immediately by going back outside, not knowing that you can cheat and it doesn't show. But she can't cheat sometimes and it will not show. So sometimes they cheat foolishly and then get pregnant. Unfortunately, some men also, when their wives bring children in the house, hiddenly or when they're not yet exposed, they mount on a woman. And you cannot tell who the father of a child is except the mother, as it is often said in our society. So because of that, I think retaliation is the reason. Anger expressed by certain women is the reason why most men father children why is most men father children who are not theirs uh the second thing i think is that people are not satisfied we live in an age where sex has been magnified sex has so much been exalted i've never seen visions i've never seen videos talking about sex empowerment in sex satisfaction in sex in this generation than any other generation this is generation when we used to grow up, sex was like, okay, it was that part of marriage where you can satisfy yourself or you pretty much get child. But this time I will tell you, your bola is big, your bola is small. How to enlarge your bola? How to do this? I mean, women are on TikTok, they're on social media, they are preaching. As, I mean, as, as a matter of fact, sex has become a sermon stronger than the gospel. You want to strike any simple video, there are women that are telling you that when you want to get a man to touch you, touch you. I mean, sermons are coming up. So they have magnified. It looks like if you don't enjoy that thing properly, you miss a portion of your life here on earth. So it has so much been magnified that people sometimes when they are not satisfied with what they have in the house, they are left with no children to go outside because people are controlled by what they see and what they hear. Social media has come to fan a glow the concept of sex that is not what we used to see when we we're growing up our parents did not see that when we were growing up but this time around people take all kinds okay. of of kinds of Mizalo, let me learn they take all kinds of drugs and all kinds of things to build their capacity to have sex so it's now like sex is no longer a thing for reproduction okay it's a means to satisfy yourself yes um apostle alfred is singing that so many people are living with children that are not uh, theirs how do we explain explain this that you are living with your wife and uh, you have kids that you think are yours who may not be yours yeah actually there is a lot of mafia out there today the mafia begins from the fact that someone enters into marriage not with the person they love but with the person that is ready this person that is ready has the money he has the money to pay the diary and everything and then has to do a beautiful marriage but the one that they truly love is out there, you know, waiting for all the passions and everything. And then when she stays one year, two years in a marriage and it doesn't work the way they want, 
they usually submit to some of the pressures that come from their ex and at the end of the day it becomes a sad situation and since they are not courageous enough to break marriages and relationships they now fall into the trap of getting pregnant for their ex getting pregnant for the one they love getting pregnant and then they come back really mr leo this issue of getting pregnant outside marriage is not a mistake it's not an error they know what they are doing mm -hmm. because i'm telling you that a woman really knows how to program herself she knows that this particular period i am not fertile and i am fertile they know quite all right and if i told the first one was a mistake what about the second one is the second one also a mistake what about the foot the feet and the seat we have a situation where people have given birth right up to six children or five children with a man which is outside marriage that's exactly what it's all about the mafia is just too much out there especially look at look look at you don't want to marry a, a woman does not want to marry you but you force her on yourself you begin to force it use money use people around her to cajole her or to to bring her to the point where she goes on her knees and then she said okay no problem they have asked me to get married i'm going to get married but the truth about it is that i am not courageous enough to have children with this man that is there in the house because one you're going to look at certain things before you want to have your children so many put look at who do i want to see in my children constantly all the days of my life who do i want to see obviously they want to see the man they love in the life of their children number two some of these men are not intelligent enough even after getting married you know you don't want to see a man that is dull giving birth to children because most of most of them most of these children are also going to be like their father and so on and so forth maybe sometimes the look of the man is not is not charismatic enough or it's not you know the way they really wanted or it's not like the man they really love they will not want to see their children bearing such faces in their homes and as a result they begin to go for something else i tell you a lot of people are in prison in the name of marriage they're in prison in the name of love they're in prison in the name of you know i you know my parents want me to be married or oh, our church what's going to be be in marriage right up in right up to the church there is there is these problems right up till today where a lot of people are married but they are not happy in that home and they are ready to give birth to so many other children with other people because when they are pregnant you know normally when you're pregnant you or maybe you, you sleep with a man you can take pills and then dissolve many other things and maybe when you are you realize that you're two weeks pregnant you can always what most people will do they'll always take pills to dissolve everything but you see a woman courageously keep these things keep it the first one keep the second one at the end of the day what happens what happens the many children at home and then the man the funny man is also comfortable because you come home at home you cannot even look through the children to see because you can communicate with your children through the spirit that's the truth you can communicate spirit for spirit and know that this one is my blood and this one is not my blood it is very possible to do it. people who have strong spirits can tell you that this child is my child and this one is not my child it is obvious this yes it's obvious you can tell because you will see their behavior, you will look through your family, and you will not see these particular traces. Anything is not there. Your face is not there. Your habits are not there. Nothing to nothing. Nothing. And then they will tell you that, no, um, it can be a, a, gen a, a, a genetical problem or this or this or this or this. People know what they are doing. It's not a mistake. That thing is not is is perfectly carved out. And let me tell you the truth: many people who get married, they got married for where they are. They did not get married for where they are going to, because where you are can push you into marriage. And when you find yourself into marriage, you discover that that is that is not where I am intending to go. And you begin to pursue your goal and your visions. When you discover that you become very famous and everything, and you now look at that marriage you got married to you discover that you made a whole mistake and you don't know what to do people are not bold enough to tell that i'm going to quit i tell you maybe one of the reasons that people should quit in such situations okay is that i will not be genuine to this marriage okay we take uh, mr sanji yvette's first intervention uh, from bomenda uh, to situate us on what she thinks about uh, what ladies are doing bringing the children of maybe neighbors or their lovers like uh, apostle is saying or an ex into the home and are being brought up by their husbands hello mr leo good evening uh, good evening to my co-panelists special greetings to our tele viewers the buy and sell women in the food market those watching from Kambe, greetings to you all okay Mr. Leo, we will talk about DNA. I think I clearly remember the case I had here. This guy, K 
came for counseling, premarital counseling, and we talked of how um, he's going to manage his relationship with the baby mama because he had a child. So he has been taking care of this child for a long time, for many years. And it's just after they, he got married to his wife that they later on discovered that that child was not his child. So you see that the baby mama had duped him into believing that the child was, was his and he has been taking absolute responsibility over this child. So this is to say that if DNA were to be um, available, you know, when we talk about DNA, our greatest problem will be how accessible, how can the common man assess the services of, you know, having a DNA and, and, and the cost. Because I think the cost of DNA right now is, is quite very expensive and very few can afford it. Okay, but if it were to be available, I think it will help to um, solve a lot of problems. Now, sometimes when you are dating, I think this one goes to men, when a man is approaching a lady and she's very quick and ready to sleep with you, like have sex with you with no even, no protection, nothing. That's, that's to say that something is not right. You should be very careful because you, you can be seeing somebody, um, you know, pregnancy does not show up within a few weeks or within a month or so. And sometimes ladies even sleep with three, four, five guys within a month. And at the end of the day, they don't know who, who the father of that child is. So they will be like making into moon to woo. Is it is it this one or, 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 or is the other one? So that's to say, you see, ladies are into a lot, you know. We will not completely blame the men for sleeping around. I think we will also blame the women for having um, multiple sex partners. And when we talk about multiple sex partners, we talk about people, you, you're having different men you are sleeping with, without, I mean, without protection. Just imagine that if HIV were to spread, because this is how HIV spreads. This is how HIV spread. Like it goes, you sleep with this person, you take it, you go and give this other person. And one thing is, people even think that maybe because I already have HIV, I, I don't need to protect myself. One thing about HIV is that you can be recontaminated. You can have type 1, then before you know it, you are, you, you, are, you are on to type 2. So even if you are positive, you still need to protect yourself. So uh, I don't know how reckless this, um, some people think or, or live their lives, but I want to say that um, the, the, the more you expose yourself out there with multiple sex partners, the more you are putting your lifespan at risk. Because sicknesses will come in. If HIV does not come, syphilis, gonorrhea, and all the, all the others will come. And that's why you see um, one of the most common STIs that is am, am, among uh, youths. You see things like gonorrhea, syphilis. If you were to go to the hospi hospital to get the statistics of what youths come to, come to the hospital for, you see that they fall just within the range of STIs. So the, 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 the rate of um, promiscuity, especially today, is really increasing. It's alarming. And that is how childbearing is also coming. And when, 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 in fact, it's only a mother that knows the father of the child. It's only in very rare cases where you have uh, a child, a, a mother who is confusing who the father of the child is. Like I said, maybe the case where she slept with more than four to five people, maybe within a week or within a month. And so she cannot really guess who, who, who is the father of the child. And, and then she's waiting for the child to come out. And so she looks, she sees how, uh, who the child resembles so that she can quickly point out to say this is a child. But then all of a sudden, they will quickly do what? They will quickly pin the child on maybe either the, the person they love or they will, they, will, they, will, they will give the child to someone that is financially able. Sometimes it's not even, it's not even about the biological aspect of it, like he's the biological father. They will want to say, okay, since I love this person, I think to hold this person down, I should say this is your child. Or oh, since I need financial assistance, I can I can always get it from this person. So most times you see that um, people father children not because they are, they are truly the real father of those children, but because they are either the ones the lady loves, or they are financially able. So this is what ladies are doing today. Mr. Leo, I'll be coming again to give my um, second take on this. Well, very, very, very scary when you listen to a lady talk uh, saying that the, um, yes. we, we, yes, that is a child could be attributed to you because a lady loves you or because you can provide, yes, pro you can provide financial security. 
for the child. Um, should this not make many men to start thinking twice about their own children? Uh, Mr. Liu, men have always been thinking twice. It's just that there was a time when we were not very, we, we, we were not very either aware, or this was not a, a major issue. Mm. I think men have always, you see one thing about men is that they are givers. And you would see, um, I had a case where the man, a blood issue happened, and then on the man, it's, it's a blood actually, and, and then when the man followed it up, he discovered that, that his child, that it was his first child, was not his. Child. So he was talking to me in confidence. So when it happened now, he told me, but he did not tell the, the wife. The wife. So we discussed, and he told me that he was going to do, he was able anyway, he was capable. He said he was going to do the paternity test for the remaining two. I tried to talk to him, but I understood at that point in time, the way his heart was, he needed some clarity. And on doing it, he also discovered that his third child also was not his. So you can imagine, it was a whole, I had to be talking to him like, like quite often and to walk into another the, the thing was so painful to him because he said he cannot he does not see, he, can, he can no longer he was actually torn because he he was in love with his children like he could not even see himself although he can see on paper that this is not his child he cannot see himself living without that child which he had raised so it was you can imagine how how torn this person was but let's just go back a little bit Mr. Lo, you would discover that there was a time I don't know whether uh, Apostle Afred and, Ap Ap <laughs> and Apostle Ambe, they had that kind of issue in their time. But there was a time when I was growing up when a girl will actually fake being pregnant to collect money. Yes. It's happening even now. Uh, I, I think... Um, <laughs> we, <laughs> yes. 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 Where a girl will actually claim she's pregnant and even fake some symptoms mm -hmm. for some for a time some even sit down plan it make you sleep with them in a way that they can actually follow you up for a while some even do that uh, they came and even collected money for abortion which was all part of their scheme to keep mon to get money i'm saying this because at that point in time it was because it was a frightening thing for most guys, when you said uh, you are pregnant, but so, the social uh, cultural uh, atmosphere has so changed. In fact, um, in my quarter, a scammer was celebrating uh, his uh, the girl he's living with the birthday. So the person who came to do it uh, was the person who came to do the the birthday. Yeah. Uh, no, not the cake. They they did a whole uh, like event planning you know event planning so the person who did the event planning was linked was my i think my wife's sister so she came and she said that she was telling my my wife that you will not believe that i did planning for this same boy one week before for another girl <laughs> that means <laughs> it means that he did planning for that she did planning for that same boy one week before in chariot so and it's very clear that the two girls know that it looks like this other one saw the kind of birthday they did for that uh, other. He says no one he owned, so they had to do it. So they they, uh, they shut down the quarter. I'm saying like they shut down now. That look at how things have sh how changed, much things yeah. have changed. And now these two guys from every education, even the two children are the same ages now. Mm. Even that they were pregnant <laughs> at the same time. Now, imagine and I heard that when he was doing the birthday that other week, he was saying it very openly that he cannot get married until a girl will give him four children. He was saying it. So it means he is not married to both of them and he's even living with one. Now I want to just show you how much things have changed. Now, what will make two girls know that a boy who is not even planning to get married now, and trust me, another one, if he wants to even get pregnant, even in that place, if he takes another girl to have a child, they will have. Because of what like Apostle uh, 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 said, girls love ready men. They love men who are ready. And since this guy shows the prospect, you know, he's a, he's a, he has a scammer, you need to see what they did. That, that, that guy spent millions for a one year. It's a one year old birthday. The, the child will not remember. The child was not even feeling fine. You can imagine that. So you see, it's not only about them. They were drinking to the next, to the dawn. They brought plus DJ and all of those things. So my point is that social economic climate has changed so much so that girls can no longer frighten men mm -hmm. that 
Yeah. They are pregnant. You see, the guy will say, you go burn them. So he has changed. That time that they could threaten us, and the guy panics, have passed. So now most guys say, you go burn them, mommy. Mm -hmm. So you will discover that these children now also have now become but the way for some girls to secure a monthly allowance or something. In fact, even in the Western world, Mr. Lo, the truth is that even in the Western world, uh, what they call alimony has become some women's uh, 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 source of income. There are ladies who are not working. Yeah, have yeah, three children. Yes, but let's still let's still let's still read with, with the topic. Yes, that is this lead, the fact that I am giving this child to this guy simply because I love him or he can provide for. But not necessarily because because you love him. Yes, that's what I just said. That in the, because of this thing now, mm -hmm. some guys, some girls now, they will get pregnant, and they might get pregnant for the person they they, they enjoy being with. It can even be for the sex. But now they look for a man mm -hmm. who can provide who can provide for their child. Mm -hmm. So and since the pregnancy thing now has become a thing that so they look for the person who can. Some are already in the house, but since they are having their enjoyment, you know, and all of those things, they see this thing as a suitable means to so, keep conveying so 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 many of us are having kids who are not us yes but brought to us either because the mothers love us or they feel that we can take, take care, care of, of them the now in this instance because you is watching me as a man um you may be uh, you, yes you may be a victim because this uh <laughs> this this uh uh, reports. Yeah, these are reports that are made uh, public uh, through researches to prove that there is a likelihood that one in 25 men are living with children or a child who is not uh, theirs. And the mothers are very comfortable. Now, which scenario is best? To live in darkness that these children are not yours? Like, take the case of this uh, the, the guy in the U.S. Yeah. Or you would want to know whether they are yours. <laughs> we said this year the last time, I will say it again. <laughs> Living in darkness <laughs> is the best option so far. For the sake of the children, yeah. for the sake of your health. As a matter of fact, what if you adopt a child from an orphanage? You will still love the child. You will still care for the child. What if a child is given to you? People give birth to children, they cannot take out the children, they drop it at the gate of other persons. Those people take those children, adopt them, and raise them up. They raise those children not as their children. What about the ones that your family members die and they leave them under your control? The issue is that you should accept the fact that a child is a child. Whether the child came through what means the child is a child. And if I thought that child acknowledges you as a father and is willing to submit to you and you groom up the child, the child grows up to recognize and respect you as a father, a child is a child. It is good to give birth to your own children, but we must also understand that many things have resulted with people not being able to give birth to their own children. What of a case where a man cannot deliver and he's not aware? Yeah. And then the wife knows that the husband cannot impregnate her. For the love of the husband, she goes out and collects children and brings into the house. The man is fathering those children without knowing that he cannot. I kept his pride. He cannot produce children. Then he's aware. So he's not aware. Look. He's not aware. Probably he had a medical situation where he's not aware. Yet the wife has discovered. If the wife goes out, take in children and bring them back home, and the man is happy that they are his children. Tomorrow is that my helping you or is killing you or she's killing you? That's the question. Did she just save you from the shame of being an impotent man, an unproductive man, or did she abuse the marriage by going out to bring out children? In a biblical point, from a biblical point of view, she's committed adultery. We do not want it. We hate it. We condemn it. But on the other hand, she equally also is trying to save the image of the man she's married to in the house. Because we keep talking about barrenness in this whole text. We are talking about women, women, women. Whenever they mention the word barrenness, it is feminine. But I beg to submit to that barrenness is not a feminine word. Barrenness is a word that complies, that goes through every individual. Men are barren, women are Even barren. Land can, be barren. land can be barren. So when we mention barrenness, and the unfortunate thing is that when children are not coming in the relationship, the first person they blame is the woman. And uh, these women sometimes also go through a lot of torture and, and, and stress that sometimes when they find out that the man is the one who is unproductive, they find it difficult to tell them because the man will back and sometimes even threaten to throw them away. The woman can uh, go uh, out. Uh, 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 Apostle, now, when women 
take in for another and uh, for other men uh they doing so accidentally or they do it intentionally they, some do it intentionally mm. some do it accidentally i have said that many women sometimes get pregnant outside accidentally because the man at home cannot satisfy them sexually yeah but do they know that do they know the person with whom they are cheating because we are talking uh, for the case of married women which means that even if a, a married woman were to have affairs there will not be many mr leo mm. let me say this clear today most of the men that have money there's an exception to every rule most of the men that have money don't sex well mm. and those who don't have money sex well we will never find me for the platform today, but I'm going to tell Why? you. Okay. I have realized that people who are <laughs> business conscious, they are too consumed what they are doing. They don't have their time. Okay. Idle men who are mm. doing nothing sense very well. <laughs> and those idle men are jobless people. And jobless men are poor people. Because they are poor, they can satisfy a woman very well. But a man who is consumed by his projects, consumed by work, doesn't even have that energy to make love. So sometimes these women who are living with these rich men that can satisfy the them financially do not have that sexual satisfaction they go get it from a poor man who is idle because i do man a person singer will help us apart from <laughs> what i'm saying that he will act <laughs> i do men who don't actually do something serious are the ones who can really satisfy a woman so this woman can go out there get satisfied come under this man's roof who is very very busy the man touches her once in a while the man is there knowing fully whether he's touching his wife but people sometimes don't just make love this time around for procreation they make love for satisfaction it was in those days that love was con love making was considered for procreation but this time around we have gone beyond that like i said earlier we have not had in any age sermons and different kinds of videos talking about the capacity to satisfy a woman as a matter of fact women are on a campaign for sexual satisfaction these days more than procreative campaign mm -hmm. that's what the trouble is so when you look at this what is happening right now you say the woman has gone out to go and take it deliberately she did not go out to take it deliberately she only went out to satisfy her urge then accidentally it occurred and she cannot throw it because why a a a, a, a married woman cannot commit abortion if she's pregnant she definitely has to present what she has to the husband and sometimes it is when the health situation of either the child or the man or the woman is in problem that they stumble across a medical situation and where they can conduct blood. a test. <laughs> then when blood is conducted, they say, ah, this is not your child. So you realize that <laughs> most of the men sometimes who are too busy, consume with work, sometimes they don't satisfy. And I believe that the age we are right now, if there are 100 women on earth, at least 80 make love not just for procreation, 80 make love for satisfaction. And I can tell you, very busy men don't satisfy women sexually. Okay. Uh, very busy men don't uh, satisfy men uh, sexually. Uh, how would you, you also want not to know if your wife, if the children are not yours, you just want to live in uh, darkness. But we have seen cases where uh, after some time, this guy will take this and uh, comes to remind you that that child is mine, mine. and then there are problems. Yeah. How do you fix that? Yeah, what, what I like to talk about is uh, people not having their own decisions to make in life. Okay. You know, you're confused. You, you don't really know what you want. You know, you're like in between the devil and the deep blue sea where you don't know your left to your right. I will still put it to uh, Apostle that most of these women who get pregnant out of marriage do it intentionally because they don't go to any kind of a man to get those children they look at you you have money they get a child with you they look at you you're handsome they get the child with you when you're married intelligent. yes they look at you you are intelligent they get the child with you they look at you 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 enter their body where where you enter it for i where where he say, I want to see this kind of man in my child. That is what women usually do. Go and verify. Most professional women, especially the ones who have self-respect, don't go to mean people for sex. So when they have a child, they honor that child and hold that child like egg because of the man they got married to or they got that particular pregnancy from. These things are planned acts. That if we don't, you know, talk about it squarely, we'll find ourselves, you know, 
chasing another thing you don't say you follow small picking fowl leave mommy goat and bush. yes you leave the you leave the mommy goat the real mommy goat and tabush then you follow a small picking fowl women are deliberate today just like how they want pleasure they want like we say uh, um, a, a busy people apostle when you love a woman you will always make time to satisfy a woman and that is what i'm trying to tell you yes busy people that's what i'm trying to tell you busy people when they love a woman they will make time the problem with these useless boys who don't work is that they can satisfy any woman they don't care because they want to prove a hero but the busy man wants to satisfy the woman she loves because she, he wants to keep his woman so that another man will not come after that is why they usually ask the doctor to prescribe to them the kind of drugs they can take to be able to carry out their sexual pleasures with their wives and that's what, if you go you will discover it it's not every busy man that does it if you go and find, verify you see it yes, yes because i don't think that so look, 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 look like somebody like Apostle now who is very busy internationally home wise and everything mm. you say he cannot do that kind of thing you, you understand mm. that, that's the kind of thing he can, <laughs> he he can <laughs> <laughs> he can do that thing very well and so powerfully so i am still putting it to you um uh, uh um um mr leo that women are intentional and therefore we will plead with the men that they should avoid to want to find out so much because remember most of these women you are the one that forced to marry them most of these women, you are the one that poked them to come into their lives. Most of these women, they did not really want to accept you, but you forced yourself to them. And because of that, they go to what they want. Let me tell you something. So many people used to do things before for what people will see. But now, people do things for their pleasure, what they will like. I cannot be in this marriage. <laughs> I will not be happy. That's why you see a lot of people break in the church, break everywhere today because of what? They are no longer looking at what people will say, what the church will say, what nobody will say. They now look for their own happiness. I'm telling you, Mr. Liu, and people have understood that this thing of marriage is not a thing of managing. You cannot manage for 60 years. You cannot manage for 30 years. There are some things that if it cannot go, let it go. That's what I would say. Okay. Um, you, but you did not answer my question, eh? Uh, you, maybe, maybe are you... No, because he, I'll, I'll, ask, ask him, I'll ask him the question. Uh, uh, Mabison writing from Kumba uh, says, uh, Good evening, Mr. Liu and members of the panel. I would like to look at this issue from another perspective where the men who dated women and had children that resembles the man and the man refuses that the children are not his. Some of these children are grown up are people in the society. The DV lottery requirements had also refused one or two children from traveling because the children are not the husband's uh, children. Yes, I, I, I know cases uh, like that, but the question to him had to do with um, knowing and not uh, knowing, oh, no. and the case where there are persons who, who there are persons who did this with the wife of somebody and later come to tell oh, okay. the world yes okay. identify that this child is my child and then you have this torso we've seen we have seen situations like that yes the first part of the question would you know or would you not know i think we all here will agree mm. that it's better to live in the ignorance dark. is bliss mm. in certain cases yes, uh, my mentor used to say you need to put hand for enos move soup now small shit go come out once you keep poking and poking you would always find out like this man i discovered the way he was torn between his child you would see that it, it, it became not something that he wished he never knew and sometimes you can be able just like how we have said it sometimes even in opening up your life story you have to be careful because not everybody can handle every kind of thing mm -hmm. even when you repent Yes. Even when you, you repent, there are some things that you don't share because you can know your spouse and know that they, they cannot handle certain things. So uh, that, that's, that's one. Secondly, um, once this kind of things are happening, now, who would have thought that paternity tests will get to this level? Who would have thought 10, 15, 20 years? Many women have done this until the man lived and died with children. Children who are not, we are not his. 
uh, we, we, if not for the advancement in, 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 in science and technology. So you would see that things are changing fast. Like uh, uh, Madame Asanji was saying, that when we start talking about price, don't worry yourself. iPhone that was one million, in two months, it became 300,000. This same thing we're talking about paternity tests. In the next two, three years, I think they will be start doing it like malaria. Mm -hmm. There was a time that HIV test was very expensive. Even malaria test was very expensive. Now they put your blood on something and in one minute, mm -hmm. there's a one minute, people, they can tell you. The Even government also uses it as a damage control and decide not to do it for free. For that kind of less... Less, damage. okay, yes, because yes. of its impact. Yes. Yeah, well, anyway, that's true. But my, my point was, it's just that things are changing. The same way there's advancement in technology, because that's one thing you can never change. Advancement in science, in technology, artificial intelligence, and all of that. So, without that, people now are also popping up, like we have seen those cases that he mentioned, where a man, who knew that that was his child? Because sometimes this girl, like you said, are intentional, mm -hmm. and knew that it was a man's child. Good. I, I, I know, know of a case, personally, that the man knew that the last born of the woman he had slept with mm -hmm. is his child. It was yes. a case I know personally. Mm -hmm. In fact, that man was there taking care of this girl. In fact, he came and started acting like he got, he got close to the family. This is a true story. Got close to the family and became goddaughter, mm -hmm. and was always the one sending the child to the school to school. You know, paying the school fees until he even finally spend money to send that girl abroad. You know that kind of like just show like that kind of like I, I like this family, but you will see him sending uh, support but to this and but at some point in time the story even came out until it had to be a family tussle yes. you know and now it was so disgusting because the woman cannot explain how he, her last child you know her last child mm. is another man's own but you will now see that if an unreasonable man mm -hmm. was in that man's pain because i knew the man personally some there's some men who are very unreasonable or maybe that woman goes and offends him one day and you, you know this kind of thing. That woman yeah. offends him. And he shows up. He says, I want my child. Or, for some reason, that man who did that finally does not have a child. No, no, these things can happen. In any scenario. And when they show up, you will discover that the man will be torn. And these are some of the consequences that we cannot control its effect. We can only discuss here. We can only talk. But the truth is, the consequence of those uh, 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 of, of such an action or the consequences in that kind of case will be a function of the emotional intelligence of the man and the woman involved. Because at that point in time, I've seen where it comes up, the man of the house hushes it down. Yes. Kills it, you understand? For his own sake. For his own I've sake. seen where a man knows that, okay, they pick it on my own, but he hushes it, use legal, because you know, uh, the, the, the law also protects any child born in matrimony. Yes. You cannot come Hello. and take that. Let's also bring this. this is part of the yes. You cannot come and take a child that was born in matrimony. That as long as the people are married, mm -hmm. it can never be yours, even if it is blood. Mm -hmm. And this is also how women are protected. If, if, if you also notice, Mr. Leo, many people don't know that when a woman's husband dies, right, mm -hmm. they, they, in about two months, any child she gives birth to is attributed to the, to the man who died. Some people don't know this. In about 90 days or so. So you would see that there are also laws, you understand, that you cannot easily come in. It can bring repercussion, but legally there is also a legal battle in that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what you mean is that it, though this man knows that he is not the father, he is the father of that child he's taking care of, he can never win a case against the man who is uh, who, who, who bears the name. As father of the child, yes, that yes, is the, yes, yes, that is the husband of the husband of the woman who cheated. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So, but now let's let's get. So in this in this situation, when a man comes out to say, "I am the father," the father, what yeah. happens? Well, it, that is why I said now it would depend also on the emotional intelligence mm -hmm. of the man who is voicing it. Yes, yeah, okay, but, 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 should, but should women not also? think that this could happen because when you do it under the the, the banner of a, a married woman mm -hmm. you may think that it will just that, end yeah. The, yeah yes this has and i like what you have said because this has some of the repercussions some of the women that did not think at that point in time mm. you understand some women not think this and when it comes first of all the shame and the disgrace is always terrible because and you know how it falls but sometimes like i said sometimes the man who might love his wife 
and who might also put love his his dignity have, might hush it and say i don't care i've seen people fight it off but at some time at some point also the woman can be thrown under the bus because sometimes when a man also when his pride also has been crushed yes. and he has nothing to live for again mm -hmm. sometimes the man look, they start looking at you he didn't want to be man picking again sometimes now the man the man can throw the woman under the bus so okay. these are some repercussions that it really needs to be thought of when um you're getting to such let's get uh, the second reaction from mr sanji yvette from a member Yeah, if DNA were to be made compulsory, I'm sure that it will solve a lot of problems. I want to believe that it will, it will if, even reduce the, the rate of cheating. Because many will now understand that if I have to sleep around, they can trace and have a child, they can trace the child back to me with proofs, with evidence. Women equally will be more careful, like cheating, cheating might reduce. Women will be careful to know that if I go and sleep with someone else and have a child and bring back home, you know, tomorrow we can go for DNA and I am proving that this, it is proven that this child is not his child. So I think uh, if DNA were to be made compulsory, that's to say if it's if it is made available, accessible and and, and and affordable, because we know that the price of DNA is not is not easy. It's quite expensive. So if these things can be put in place and uh, I think you see that cheating itself might drastically reduce. Now, when we talk about um, young girls, when you see a young girl dating, when you when you tell the guy, "Hey, I'm pregnant," the first thing is, who is the author of that pregnancy? They know very well that the other ones have been, have been having sex with you, but when pregnancy comes up, they want to claim that there are many other people. So you always hear that question, like, "Who is the author?" And they are asking they know. But now they'll try to tell you that they I know that you have been sleeping with A, you have been sleeping with B, you have been sleeping with C. Just just to defend themselves and back out and run away. But if DNA were to be uh, to be made um available and accessible and cheap, I think most men or men who impregnate women and run away, they will not be able to do that. That because the pregnancy itself will eventually just do what proof that this child is your child. Now, married men equally would be more, I think, more cautious because when a married man goes out there and dates, sometimes they don't care if they're having children or not. But if they're dating a girl and they know that that girl surely has a, a boyfriend somewhere, tomorrow if pregnancy is coming up, you see that they will always back out. And even when the wife discovers and says, okay, you have been dating this lady and she's pregnant, he will say, no, that pregnancy is not my pregnancy. I am very sure. And sometimes the only thing they can do is they can wait for the child to come out so that they look, they see how, who the child resembles. And in the case where the child resembles only the mother, how, how would they prove it? Because sometimes the child comes out and is a carbon, you know, carbon print of the mother. So DNA made available, I think it will solve a lot of problems. Equally, it will help. It will help uh, reduce the rate of cheating. If men know that I can cheat now and be trapped, maybe by pregnancy, and proven, maybe it might it might reduce. If women can also cheat, if the if the women also know that they can cheat under the roof and maybe they are trapped with pregnancy and they and they prove that this pregnancy is not the husband's pregnancy, I think it can reduce cheating to a certain extent. Okay. But now, when we talk about DNA generally, I want to say that um, DNA is good, but sometimes it can still be disadvantageous. Because there's a man that knows very well that, okay, I cannot bear me children. But the, the, wife is being, the wife is pregnant all the time and putting to bear children, and he is quiet with it. It's because he knows that deep in him, deep within him, he knows that he cannot, bear, he, he cannot impregnate a woman. And he knows that the woman is cheating, but he does not want to make it a, a, a point of focus. He's just happy to know that at least there are children under his roof that he can call his own children. Yes, this happens. I mean, you, you can even see a woman that is pregnant and you see men approaching the a pregnant woman. And you're asking questions like, what is it about this woman? She's pregnant for somebody. You're still ready to accept her for who? Yeah, there are men that will still come and accept a woman like that, a pregnant woman. Some stay like that for without any 
intimacy until the wife goes to bed and then maybe they start having a relationship later on. Some come and continue from there, they don't even care. So with DNA, if DNA was made available, I think it could fix some things and uh, it could equally spoil some. Because, if, like I said, in the case where the, the man knows very well that these children are not my children, but he does not want to know who the father of the children is as long as the children are under his roof. If it's that tomorrow the father of the children show up and say, these are, these are my children and I want to claim them, and DNA proves, proves it right, then he will become fatherless, whereas people give him the respect in the society that he has, he's the father of these kids. But in all, I want to say that DNA can help. I think DNA can help to solve a lot of problems. It will help people to be more cautious. It will help reduce even the, the, the level of infidelity, cheating. And I think it will also help people to be, you know, you reduce the level of STIs. Because when you go to the hospitals these days, the, the majority of youths, they suffer from one STI to the other. And it's all because of um, having multiple sex partners. But if they know that I can have multiple sex partners, pregnancy comes up and I'm trapped with it. Even in court, I am proving that I'm the author of this pregnancy. I mean, they can begin to be more, more, more careful. I think that's just, that's just my take on this, Mr. Dio. Thank you so much. And uh, I want to say that if you are not following me on social media, my viewers, please follow Counselor Mrs. Asanji even on social media. Equally, you can have your good quality suits with me. Okay, you will pay for that advert you just uh, did. Now, good evening, Mr. Leo and the clergy in the studio. I want to ask uh, this question. In a case where the man in the house is not legally married to the woman, not even traditionally uh, marriage, but has fathered a child for 30 years who happens to be his only child, and all of a sudden someone shows up that the child is his, what will be the law? Okay, Theodore Mengot is asking uh, this question. Apostle, I don't know uh, whether the someone... Laws, the laws. Mm. <laughs> if the man has not paid the bride price, yes, and, and he has fathered a child for 30 years, mm. who owns the child? It's a man's child. Okay. You own a child by a blood, not by a certificate of bride price. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, no, some other person outside. Some other person outside. Yes, this man has raised a child in his home. Mm -hmm. From what I've seen, yes, for he, 30 years. Yeah, they are not legally married, and uh, he has not paid a ah, okay, bride price. Okay. But you know another man, it? another no, man, no. another man comes no, from person, outside. I, yes. Is the man the no. who has raised the child? child? No, no, okay. no, no, no. Is the man who has no. the child? Is the man who has the child? In that case, yes. As long as the person what is the man outside, he just came and came. No, it's no. DNA. If the father did do it, is it DNA? And it the woman confirms. DNA, yeah. The woman confirms. Same. The man just. The woman has not confirmed, sir. You are adding your. Yeah. Okay. How did they? I know, but that that one. just came <laughs> and claimed. Yeah, he but claimed. if the DNA shows that it's his child, yes, that man who has not paid bride price has no claim. Has no claim. Okay, if the man had paid the bride price. If, no, if, uh, that's another problem too. Yeah, because, not yeah. No, 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 no let's accept that. But we, have to, we have to answer answer, it on yes. both angles. If the man has paid the bride price and has fathered the child or sponsored the child, for because there's a difference between father and child, yes. the child, he has sponsored the child for 30 years and is legally married to the child's mother. Yes. And then the man who originally fathered the child came after 30 now, years. Yeah, apostle, it is yeah, legally. Yes, Apostle, uh, let's look at this issue of uh, DNA yes. uh, making it compulsory. Um, Reverend Mrs. Asanji <laughs> says that, no, Mrs. Asanji <laughs> uh, says that <laughs> it is going to curb the rate of uh, cheating and render some people more responsible. What do you think? Life. You, prefer, you prefer that we just stay, we just stay like that and then keep doing things? Mr. Leo, mm -hmm. DNA mm -hmm. or no DNA will never reduce cheating no, no, or not, promote cheating. Okay, people people go with... Uh, is it is cheating, it? cheating itself okay. is a crime. It does not need DNA. Mm. If they were afraid of cheating, they would not be afraid of... If they were not afraid of cheating, they would be afraid of DNA. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, cheating by itself <laughs> should be afraid of... <laughs> if people can brush the fear of cheating, they should not be afraid of DNA. <laughs> because what we are supposed to have been afraid of is cheating. Yeah, because no, but, but but whether we like it or not, if women so know that, if women know that, it, uh, that if I take in for this guy, in I'm going to be yes, I'm going to be exposed. Yes. Don't you think they will think otherwise? They will just be careful. They will not stop cheating. Mm -hmm. 
They'll be careful. They will be not careful, careful not, not to get pregnant yes, for that's, somebody. Yeah, but is he not they going to not stop? Yeah, but is, is he not going to curb the fact that they are bringing children it will of curb Kibos. the fact yeah. that bringing children will not curb cheating but, 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 is it, but, is it, but isn't that significant that children of neighbors and children of your lovers and children of those you admire are brought under the, your roof for another person to, to father it's allowed to be sincere mm -hmm. i have uh, uh, i'm going to share a few of my challenges okay. that i have go on I, I i'm not like trying to blow my trumpet here people know i'm intelligent Mm -hmm. women just want to get pregnant because i'm intelligent mm -hmm. not yeah, because that's what i told you yes Wait, not, because, not because of anything <laughs> yes. a man come from the usa and told me that if he were to be a woman mm -hmm. he would have flown down here get pregnant for me carry the child and go back to america which is a sin it's a very big sin mm -hmm. that's what i'm telling you that women carry pregnancy from people for many reasons mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when a woman is determined to get pregnant for you, mm -hmm. even if she has a husband in her own home, there are some certain qualities in you she does not find in her man that she wants it to be in her child. I go back to what Apostle Singer was saying here. They will come after you with every energy in them. I'm telling you. So the fear of committing the crime is dead. Now they want a baby, and they don't just want to be with any kind of person. A lady was testifying in our church on Sunday. She said, I should permit her to have another child, even with you. That's the testimony she was giving. <laughs> because the only child she had, a man took away and went to London, and the boy explained her in Chelsea. So they have disconnected him from the child. He said, She said, I should permit her. I said, I don't have such power. <laughs> 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 As a man of God, she permit her to get pregnant, even with a beggar or a truck pusher. She wants a child. So, People want children for many reasons. It could be the reason behind them having that child that is driving them. How do you explain a woman has already have three children with a man in the house? Is still yearning for somebody outside to impregnate her and bring in another child. It shows that it's not because she's barren. She's not desperately looking for a child. Mm -hmm. She definitely wants a particular quality, quality. she has found in a, man in a man that is not in her husband. So this selfish, egocentric desire in women sometimes is a reason for these pregnancies that come in without without a man in the home being responsible a woman admires you you are a star you are intelligent you look fair in complexion you are the category of man that she wants her child to look like and she comes after you just to cut that pregnancy and she may get pregnant and don't need you anymore Yes. Because our objective is to draw that, that spam. They, do, yes. they don't need you anymore. Draw that spam and go them and sit them down. So we, we 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 realize now that a lot of reasons push women to go out to get pregnant for people. To get pregnant for people. And what's of it is that some single ladies even find comfort in the hand of married men. As a matter of fact, in this day where we are, most single ladies are interested in married people. Mm -hmm. They will tell them married people don't stress them. Married people don't chase them or check them. Don't, control, it's, them. don't control them. All they have is the little time they have with the man. They satisfy him and he gives them huge amount of money. So they prefer married men because the married men don't stress them. Number two, they feel secured around this married man because these married men sometimes financially they are buoyant. That when, if they impregnate you, they can still be running their homes and running your home with your okay. own child successfully. Okay. And but because of that, they have so many reasons why they get pregnant out of their homes. Okay. You go, you're, on, you, you're on television, yeah, anyway. Let's <laughs> not. <laughs> okay, uh, our. Uh, to end that testimony time. <laughs> Our brother Enes, who is watching us from Bukula, says a paternity test should not be made compulsory. Paternity tests should only be resorted to in case of conflict. It is better to let sleeping dogs lie. Okay. Good evening to you, my uh, brother. Greetings, sir. Uh, concerning that case, uh, the child don't belong to the man. Why? Because the man have have no proof concerning the child, and again, no bride price have not been given to that lady where where any day any time the man must look for his son 
and the son must look for his father. I'm Rose, writing from Boya. Many get pregnant and lay the pregnancy to another man because of the wealthness of the other person. But deep in her, the child belongs to the owner. What she just wants is perfect care. Um, this is raising another debate about uh, what Shakespeare said about women. Frailty, thy name is woman, which means that we are living in a woman's world where um, the children, she, she decides where the, who should take care of the child, but you, the man, well, they call us Mumu, eh? We are really Mumus, yeah. <laughs> That's how I see it. Good evening, Mr. Leo, and to all the clergy on board. Please, what about the situation where DNA is conducted and both the couples discover that the child does not belong to any of them, like the child was exchanged in the hospital during birth? That's a different case. Good evening, Mr. Liu and all the panelists. Uh, there is this story that a certain amount of money was proposed to men that had five children. So a man left his house to another man's house to claim his two children he got with the woman. So on coming back with the two children, he asked his wife where his three children are. <laughs> 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 and his wife said, their father has come for them. <laughs> so this thing is all wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> good thing, sir. Concerning that case, the child don't belong. Okay, I read that already. Good evening to everyone in this studio. Very interesting topic. It, uh, let's come to reality. What women are doing in the marital home nowadays is really horrible. Women have taken over cheating modern men men are playing men are playing you provide everything to a woman you don't satisfy her on the bed is another problem she will cheat in the name of you don't satisfy her mm -hmm. you satisfy her on the bed and you don't have the provision Money. to provide for her she will cheat in the name of you don't provide for her yes. women are one the ones are causing violence at home that you will see a man killing a woman because of horrible things the woman have come to done to him. Women, women. Okay, indeed. Alexander is writing from Bamenda. Good evening to everyone. I will not encourage compulsory DNA testing because the rate of abortions will increase due to fear of disclosure. The fear of God and discipline will better manage such situations. That's also what we have not seen because they will take in and struggle to do abortion but would they would they with they, they, they the husband not find out it's going to be difficult for you to do such okay uh good evening uh hello good evening uh, this program touches me badly i just want to agree with on what apostle and has just said i have a very rich and busy neighbor here yeah. but this man doesn't satisfy his wife sexually this woman always pays one jobless guy who is very good in bed to satisfy her. Until they uh, careless with four million, and this guy came one day to satisfy her and stole it. And the whole story was exposed. Some, some men are really going through a lot in the hands of these women. This is John writing from Yaoundé. But now, the issue is, there is a justification that, wow, because you don't satisfy you are a woman, mm -hmm. you give her everything, but because you don't satisfy her, she goes for, for one guy to satisfy her. And then now, you satisfy her very well, and you don't give her uh, the provisions, or the wealth and everything. She goes out for, to look for another guy who can provide, yet because you satisfy her in bed, but cannot provide for. So how do you actually satisfy a, a, a woman? No. A woman, if you have married a woman who is promiscuous, mm -hmm. you'll be having these kind of challenges. Some women have their dignity and their pride. Mm -hmm. They won't go out for any reason, whether you provide for them or not. But some women are promiscuous by nature. Mm -hmm. That is why before you marry, you must check the background from which your woman is coming from. From the tribe, to the family, to what their sisters or maybe their mother or their father has been into these things flow down in families yes so don't begin to assume thinking that when you marry a promiscuous woman you will satisfy everything about her no she some some of them just want to have more men 
they have you know it's happy like like uh, there was a particular time they told us that uh, if you don't marry more men as a woman it means that you're not beautiful enough so they just want to get more men in their lives or or they just want to break from one man go to the other one and to the other one and to the other one that's exactly what it is so i don't really think that the problem is whether we satisfy them or we don't satisfy them the problem is their integrity is whether they are promiscuous or not that is exactly what it is a woman with integrity a woman with the fear of god unfortunately the fear of god does not exist again outside out there is that god is afraid of us <laughs> that yes that is what is happening god is really afraid of us because people know the fear god again anymore even in the church and what or, and, and whatsoever we can do anything and do anyhow and everything since god is not going to hammer the hammer you immediately you don't you don't take it serious but if you bring automobile here and put it there and put it there, you know if you touch this thing you will tie it on the bed and this kind of thing you know people <laughs> i'm talking some kind of things here that is what is happening we watch them over uh, uh, this thing every day over the, the facebook and all the likes every day where in some countries they, you just touch a man's wife you will tie it that day on the bed and they will come and catch people and take it to the market square those kind of things are very common so people who are promiscuous are promiscuous whether you give them what you give them heaven and ground where you satisfy them like what sexually or whatever they will still go for what they want this time not for the problem not not for the maybe satisfaction but just to want to be proud that they can sleep with more men and sometimes a woman wants just you know how can a woman tell you that he likes but the man that has a big something and then at the end of the day they are injured they are brutally handled and everything and then she comes that that is what she likes therefore you will see that the needs of women are so many men don't have many needs but women have so many needs that it is only integrity and you know rest uh, maturity that will make a woman stay true and faithful in marriage or in a relationship i want to beg of you if you enter into a relationship and you discover that the woman is already exhibiting some certain signs please don't take it to marriage i am still saying this today because you think that is a joke it was very easy for you to get her and then before when you got her easily you discover that while you were in a in a in, in a in a courtship or in, in, in his relationship or a dating period she was still hanging around other men just be careful because you will be ready to run behind her you will be ready to check her phone you'll be ready that is why you see people going to check phone today because the women they marry are not you don't have integrity they don't have respect they can just open their legs anyhow for any man and at the end of the day they just believe that you know they are empty sometimes they feel empty but because it is there there is something in them that pushes them to go for these things so they just go for them so i'm still calling the attention of people look closely at the woman you are with now look at her behaviors look at her charisma you know look at what is doing i'm not sending you to go and check her phone because you may see something that you may never survive it you may not live to survive it just be careful some of her charisma and some of the things she does is enough to tell you that heart attack will hold you if you go in for marriage with such people why are you talking about provision can provision keep a woman down why are you talking about sex can sex keep a woman down it cannot it is just that personal respect and if a woman does not want to cheat it is her personal decision it is not whether you follow her it's not whether you are behind her it's not whether you you do whatever you can do but trust me i'm telling you there are some certain tribes and some certain families that no matter what you do you won't satisfy them so avoid such people avoid if you know that you're the kind of person that cannot manage but you know that most of the times promiscuous men always go out for promiscuous women so they end up all of them being promiscuous and do any kind of a thing so their children are usually not decided now again i want to point out something mr Leo, this thing is very sure now we go to the hospitals today we have sicknesses in our body the machines cannot even detect what is wrong with us you go there they will give you a whole people and they say nothing's wrong with you but you know you are dying you know you are dying and then you now go and buy it, simple medicine and take and you are healed it means that the machines cannot work today is it the dna machine that can work today what of if you bring the dna machine here and they come and tell you that your five children are not your children and you know very well and the woman know that she's a faithful woman except you want to believe that it's a spirit husband that came and gave her that kind of a thing so we should be careful with machines even as much as we are advocating for for dna uh, uh, checkup and everything 
we should be careful with such things because those things people have gone for hiv tests and they have made them they have made them a positive why they were not positive they say sorry you oh, we made a mistake you know you know that kind of a thing we have seen people who have gone to the hospitals and they have given them wrong results i went to one hospital the other time and the hospital said they know i don't have malaria i don't have typhoid i mean i just have maybe some irregularities in my blood okay i went to another hospital they said there is plus 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 typhoid uh, uh malaria then i went again to another one and they checked me and they saw that i needed to treat typhoid and malaria then i begin to ask myself what kind of machines are these people using so if you settle for a dna test are you sure that machine can produce especially the white man usually sent us the one that they have used for so long <laughs> yes because it it, it it comes it doesn't take long it expires because most of our machines that you see in in in, 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 oh. in most of our hospitals today they are there are how many generations yes. some of them are 15 generation the white man has already used them since 1992 uh, and then now our doctors go and buy it cheaper you know or the, the agents they send it for us cheaper then we now take it and put in the hospitals and begin to get wrong results so that is it in most cases i'm saying but the, 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 the dna uh, situation in the university of boya okay is, is a discovery it was done by 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 doctor uh, i've just forgotten it prof okay yes it was they are the ones who worked on it in the university of the machine where they did not uh, it's not something that was brought in the 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 device their of their means of uh, doing oh. that oh, okay yes um but now if in the case where you discover because there are persons who have discovered that these children are not theirs because whether we like it or not if you were to do um you you had something like um nationality out there and you were to get your children over the u.s embassy would ask for a dna test yes. what if you were to discover that these children you've lived throughout your life with are not your children how do you handle such a case well i think this is in my personal at this point in time this case is very personal mm -hmm. and uh for me it, it might not some people might not see it like like it but the truth is if um there is something that was always said for better for worse mm -hmm. uh, i have a i have a principle that um when you are doing certain things you imagine the worst case scenarios mm -hmm. it's my it's my principle yeah, because these are some of the things that yes. we think that okay you can hide but yes there are situations where either you go to the hospital you are yeah. sick and that and yeah and these things or, get or even not only you your mm -hmm. child can be sick mm -hmm. and you are trying to give blood or something and you discover you can't or mm -hmm. something yeah that's how uh, the, the man also in the state discovered his mm -hmm. uh but i will say this we we must we cannot talk about this forgiveness this thing here and there only for some particular things the truth is true some things break you for life especially when it becomes public notice sometimes this thing be, it, it, in fact it gets you discover that it's easy for relationships to break when it's become public knowledge mm -hmm. but when it can still be contained especially within a framework it's easier to handle the truth is i will tell you this mr leo quite a number of men have suspected that a child might not be theirs but they lived with the, those children mm -hmm. honestly so i have just hinted one or two here they look at the picking look the picking <laughs> look up <laughs> the one who my blood <laughs> look up look up yes look up <laughs> every time you look at them look the mommy so for palo but you see the truth is generally men are givers men are givers and i think we can carry that because i know it's it's hurting especially when you trust and all of that but my pers personally if this happens to me especially a child i have raised especially a woman you have lived with for long you will discover that you will just it will just be for me it will just be part of the baggage i would have to carry all my life yes it's just like how women also have sat in the house and women and, uh, and another girl walks in with a carbon copy of their husband <laughs> Yes. That means there, there was no explanation. Yes, there was no explanation. 
there was that. That means you say just to the woman. So when that, when I'm, when I'm not talk. It was very clear in the air. Even the laughter, you just know the child will laugh and you will do. Yes. <laughs> so I think women have handled this from men. And I think, of course, since DNA is revealing this, and he's now seeing that every women are cheating more, I think we must also come to that part that these are also some realities. So for me personally, if it's the woman I've, I chose, I've married to and everything, for me, especially someone I've raised, uh, that's why I personally prefer not to know. But if it gets to the point where I know, because of my day, I, I think I will just have to deal with that, and I think I will raise my child. And especially since I'm married, the child is not, because legally it's my child. But, but you, will need, you will need a lot of uh, psychological processes. Yeah, yeah. That's why, for me... Adjustment process. For me, it, maybe it's because I've also built my emotional intelligence to a certain level. That's why I said it also depends also on the emotional intelligence of the man. But trust me, it's not an easy fact. But, Mr. Leo, let me just say one thing. Mm. I want to say one of the reasons why uh, the promiscuity that he has mentioned and a lot of things have gone up is because, for example, you discover women attack us for objectifying them. Women uh, attack yeah, us for objectifying uh, them. Mm -hmm. But you will discover almost all the sexy songs that we sing. Oh, I see your waist, your low waist. They are the ones dancing in the top, they are the one. in the clubs. Now, mm -hmm. check all our songs. I always say that when you check the song of a generation, you can know their inclinations and desires. Check almost all of our songs. Uh, it's about sex. Their ways, you might sing it all I want, now your ways, all I want, now your ways. Then, when a man now comes and finally sleeps with you and walks away, you say, He come not leave my ways. How many have you ever heard a song that all I want is your arithmetic brain, or how much you love, or how much you know how to do arithmetic, and all of those things? No, it's about the physical. We have become very superficial, and even as Apostle Abbe said, there's a lot of sexual glorification. The there is, so that means, factual. okay, imagine, Mr. Liu, in our time, when we were watching a Nigerian film. And a man and a woman, they were even making as if they want to kiss. Would you just get yeah. cough? Yeah. Would you just get thirsty? Run, go drink water. Nowadays, with the coming of Netflix, all our children, that means they go to movies that have sex, that have embraced a lot of sexuality, sexual dreams. It has stirred up sexual ap appetite, sex objects, and people are no longer satisfied sexually and it's affecting our homes a lot of time like he said because visionaries do a lot of mental work sometimes when they come back they are tired and the woman also wants this and that especially when the woman is at home and all of that it has made many women to say okay imagine to satisfy myself day with the man then you want to see something like this happens and because she doesn't want to do this do that so a woman will come and force you to stay with you just to say that it's your child okay and all of that so i really it's, it's something that we really need to look into Okay, uh, what you can easily kill, you, you kill you, but what you don't, okay, what you meant is what you know can easily kill you, but what you don't know cannot uh, kill you. A child is a child. Good evening, brothers. I'm Eric from Boya. I have this question to ask. If a man is legally married to a woman for like 25 years, does he have a right over a child born by his wife, even if after DNA is discovered it is not his? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, good evening, sirs. Is it right uh, thing to marry a woman just to satisfy societal and family pressure as a man or a woman? Ferdinand Tabi is writing from Kosala. Is no. Uh, yes. No. Uh, good evening, Mr. Leo and the intelligent panelists. Please, I want to ask uh, this question: Is it necessary for a woman who is in her forties to get pregnant? For a married or unmarried man, Grace writing from Munyai Sin, for a the case of a married You're man, no? Married. Yeah. Good evening to the crew. Courage, I appreciate the topic I'm watching from Mokolo in the far north. I dislike this issue of paternity tests. Those who do it do not really understand the intrigues of life. When a farmer plants maize and passes by, by uh, throw grains in the farm too, when it's harvesting season, can the farmer make a difference? Uh, thank you. You, Eric Chia, is writing. Um, should we really uh, compare a woman to a farm? Should we? See, uh, what he's trying to say is that uh, if a man impregnates a woman, others contribute. Yeah. Is a woman a public property? So, uh, should we? Uh, no, uh, it's condemnable. Okay, condemnable. Yeah. Uh, good evening in the studio. What a wonderful program. I don't think making paternity tests a compulsory is a good idea because. There are some women that uh, you can never satisfy them, no matter what. Because uh, there are women that have uh, fire burning down 
with uh, and uh, <laughs> they are looking for a man who can lose it. Okay, Mrs. Nga writing from Bomenda. Good evening, sir. My brother is married with three children, but the wife got pregnant for the fourth child with a different man. This woman doesn't lack anything. I was very surprised. Yeah, but we are we are we are getting the more and more of this situation where a woman is married to a man and gets pregnant for another man and many people know this and we are living with it it is becoming uh, i don't know society is, is normalizing it really when mm -hmm. he says the woman lacks nothing he's talking at the level of finances mm -hmm. there are lacks in different areas mm -hmm. yeah, but, but the woman lacks emotional attention it's mm -hmm. not finances but can you can you actually emotionally satisfy a woman you yes. can you can Okay, Mr. Liu. To the level where the woman will, will not look at any other person, are yes. you sure? The, the problem is this: uh, sometimes we believe that. Uh, yes. Sometimes mm -hmm. we believe that uh, all a woman needs is a fiscal provision. So when mm -hmm. you hear him make the statement of a woman does not lack anything, mm -hmm. he is talking from a point where financially the woman is comfortable. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, there are many people who are financially comfortable, but they are not emotionally comfortable. Mm -hmm. Attention is given them. They should calculate the relationship between the woman and that man when they started. And after the teacher, what happened? When women sometimes are neglected, they fight back. When they are, the attention is not given to them, they fight back, and they have a way of fighting back. They suppress for a long yes, time. Yes, when they, 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 when they when they contain for a long time, they cannot. They, they get loose. Are we? Are we now are, we are not promoting this, Mister. Mm. Please, please, please. Point no. of we, mm. we are not promoting women to get loose. Mm. We are trying to explain the reason why they get loose and how we are going to give them solution to stop to it. stop it. Because a lot of people sometimes listen to what we say as pastor and say, hey, pastor God said, I can no. You can't deny that there's no wound on your leg. Yes. Accept that there is a wound, then let's look for a way to treat the wound. Mm -hmm. Ignoring a battle does not solve the problem. Yes. Confronting it is what solves the problem. But you must identify what is the cause of the problem before you are able to solve the problem. Exactly. That's why in medical science there must be diagnosis before treatment. So what we are saying here is that sometimes women get frustrated, they suppress their emotional worries to an extent where sometimes when they are able to be satisfied, they now manage it poorly by reacting in a way that causes damages at the end of the day. But the truth is, when a man does not meet your emotional needs as a woman, confront him. Some of you think that because if you tell a man that you are not emotionally satisfied by the way he approaches you sexually or romantically, you are appearing like a prostitute or being canal. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes if a master without making love to you, you don't confront him and say you want to make love, to, I want to I want to make love to me. You feel like if you ask your husband sex, it looks like you are canal or you are a former prostitute, you don't want to bring out the bad nature in you. It is your legal, matrimonial, spiritual, anointed, traditional, cultural light to hold a man's trouser. I say you must make love to me before you go out of this house today. Yeah, yeah, but, but, That's your right. Because, yeah. But the problem is the African woman has been brought to a position where she feels like it's a man that has to demand sex from her. I'm, I'm saying this because it's very serious. Yeah, also, yeah, you yeah, can no, demand, no, but the man does not know what to do. Yeah, but what, 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 I, want, what I was trying to say is that now, when we get a woman, we, because we say we can emotionally satisfy a woman. Yes. Apostle, don't you think that this woman behaves as though she is emotionally satisfied because she's just mature because there are women you give us according to you have satisfied her she still looks out there is that not what i'm trying to point yeah. out here how do we, is it is it is it a woman that disciplines herself or it is you who can, actually satisfy her explain yeah. something to mm -hmm. you no he, he was learning i was cueing him okay. let him learn yeah be open mm -hmm. as a woman if a man is not satisfying emotionally confront him it doesn't make you a prostitute mm -hmm. it doesn't make you a whore it does not reduce your dignity or your personality the african woman is so arrogant to the extent that she believes that mm -hmm. if she tells a man that you didn't suck my breast very well during the last sexual intercourse it makes her look like a prostitute you didn't chin in particular positions you know your body very well your mechanism your chemistry very well you know where if the man stings you you will get it better the truth is some people may not be educated on your body the way you know your body too good well. sometimes talk to them but now the african woman believed by her cultural background that first and foremost is a man that has to approach her mm. first to ask her hand in marriage because it looks like a taboo in africa for a woman to approach a man but that is not the case in europe it's not mm. the case in other continents that's what? considered our culture why does Secondly, the bible what does the bible say hmm? what does the bible say sir that what what does a the man, man shall leave his father a man shall leave his father and mother 
Okay. And they cleave to his wife. Okay. They didn't say approach. Please. Then you tell me that route to Guru was from who? That route and was who found who? Can you imagine? You're supposed to stop that you are talking here. Yes. Yes. Let's not go from the We are talking about African culture. The African culture. Secondly, the African woman believes that if she says, ask a man that make love to me, she 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 will sound like a former prostitute who is shot desperate after sex. No. There is no legal binding anywhere that says a man or a woman has to approach the other for sex. Both parties have the urge for sexual intercourse, so they have the right to approach each other when they want it. But that is not the case of the African woman. Yeah, but the girl will tell you, say, I can never ever have my husband yeah, sex. I'm yeah, talking as someone who is counseling people. Yeah, but uh, I just want our televiewers who are watching to know that what we are saying is for married men eh, and women. Yes. I'm not saying that young girls you, you, should go. Don't gather children. You give the that, that that young program. girls should go around asking. For sex from yeah no no, we are no married for people. married women yes, yes married yeah. married mm -hmm. married so that, mm -hmm. they are, that they are legal mm -hmm. yeah they have the right to demand that so but the the, the the mechanism that is the orientation of the African woman is that if she asks certain things is it, it looks it makes her look cheap mm -hmm. you are not cheap if you ask your husband for sex you aren't you are not but now. You are there, you are dying emotionally, you are going through pain emotionally, you can't express yourself, you cannot even cry out, you can't explain, you can't even tell your husband that this is what is going through. And then the only way you think you can be able to satisfy yourself is to look for somebody else to come and feel a vacuum thing your husband has created. Because you didn't give the man the understanding that this is what you are missing. Okay. Now, uh, society seemingly is normalizing because I've seen cases where people, that this family knows that their brother's wife has taken in for some other person. They are living with it. How do we fix this? How does that sit with um, our true values as Africans and also Christians? Yes. Um, society has evolved. Mm -hmm. A lot of things have come to play. Mm -hmm. The Western culture has penetrated the African culture. And it has brought us to a position where we can mix everything and it can go. Now people can mix any kind of food and it will go. They can do any kind of thing. There's fast food. Anyhow you want to do it now, it will work for you. So it is no longer strange to even know that this one is like this and this one, and then we want to follow it for certain reasons. Especially those things work for situation. I still insist that when you force a woman to marry, she will always be at that position, and you will still be forcing her to keep her in the marriage. You say yes, even though you don't get I still love you. I still want to be with you. That is what it is. Never degrade yourself or downgrade yourself to that extent where you want to, you know, you want to force yourself on a woman who doesn't want you. She is going to give you this hell we are talking about. And it's so terrible to find out after some time that child that you love so much that another person is the father it's so terrible because you forced it and that is why i'm saying that some families also know very well that this girl does not like this man but they want her to marry the man because of the money she's going to get from the man obviously if she's pregnant for another person they won't bother because they know very well that she was only there for the money of the man and that is how it's going to be now mr Lee, i wanted to, to say a little something a little bit concerning what apostle Abe was talking about you're talking about also about satisfaction for mm. women mm. look at it women are generally shy in their approach when it comes to such things mm -hmm. they are generally shy the men are bold to be able to ask some things and everything we will always advise the men to <coughs> learn how to find spots to learn how to find the areas where they can truly satisfy women that is it as a man you must be smart enough to understand the soft spots of your woman she must not tell you there is a place you will touch and you will see her reaction and you will know that when i touch this particular place it gives this particular sign or whatever men should be able to do that don't always wait for your woman to ask you or to tell you you be smart enough to find out and to be able to dig and to be able to know what they prefer and some some people will just think that okay no i just begin to hit her hard hard hard, hard. some some of those hard it doesn't help her it doesn't give the necessary satisfaction or the like so that's what we are quite trying to say that find out what works for your woman yeah but because find, they, find, find, find out what works for, for for your woman yes what if you are doing that and then um your wife wants a child from some other person 
because what you are saying is just one aspect. Yes. But maybe you lack, you lack, uh, you may, you may give all of that. Yes. But you lack some of the qualities that your wife desires in a man. Yes. This, this is a common things, and that is why I'm trying to tell you. Now, do you fashion your face? Do you fashion your look to please what the, their wife wants? Joseph wanted Russia, mm -hmm. and he worked for seven years for Russia. Mm -hmm. And when they gave Joseph Leah, he still worked for another seven years for Russia. Mm -hmm. It means that if if a woman is in your house mm -hmm. or a man is with you, if what you want is outside, you always go back for that thing outside. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. That is why I will see tell people that don't go for what you will be managing all the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Because marriage is a very long time. Mm -hmm. You cannot be managing that starvation. You cannot be managing that lack of sexual drive. You cannot be managing that particular for a very long time. And that money, you don't know how long that money is going to last. The money may just last for a very short time, and that is it. And some of these men, they don't have money today, you see, you want to manage with them. The day they have money, they begin to take care of their family, or they begin to spend it on other women. That is how this thing works. But, 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 but Apostle, yes. yeah, but I, see, I see a lot of uh, focus on uh, sexual need. When you yeah. look at the way the world works today, yes. when you look at how very occupied men and women are good well, do you really think what a woman actually needs is uh that, that no 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 that that's actually not what a because woman the woman needs. the way the way the society works a woman out and the man uh, the man out by the time you guys come to the house you're both tired then eh? Leo, yeah that particular feeling mm. cannot be covered even with the 1000 jobs in the world that is why you see women if they tell you that I don't do men, find out what they do. If they yeah, say I don't do men, find out what yeah, they did. Because uh, seeming, seemingly we are not looking at uh, the woman craves for a man that is intelligent. A woman craves for this. We're not talking about but we have empowering about the that. woman, looking at all of all of these aspects. We the have looked about just, that. Can we really say you you satisfy you keep a woman pin the woman down simply by giving her just the best sex? I, I, I personally I think it is it is it is we have actually uplifted the sex and mm. we have made it a major issue and we should really say that here because two things are happening. Mm -hmm. You see, check also most of the women who are always looking for if whether sex is pivotal, mm. you will discover that they are idle. Yes. You, you, because you, when you, they get really busy, no, yeah. Yes, because mm. you will discover that these women are idle. Mm -hmm. It means that most of the time, by the time the man is coming, they are still too energetic, mm -hmm. and maybe the man is not. You see, there's a there's a shoe that when a woman feel, she begins to understand. Check busy women. So tell her they tell their master, as I don't care, beg respect yourself. Mm -hmm. and these are some realities. Now, does that mean that that woman who is busy will not feel like sex? She will feel. But, but you will see said. that she will also have an understanding mm -hmm. that a, because we must be, we must really orientate people here. That's why I was talking let's, about let's be is very honest. Woman who really discipline yes, because really, let's be very yes. honest. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we have seen great men like we are talking about. So, uh, is this Steve's case? You see here of 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 a of driver sleep with 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 with, with, with Madame uh, Cook sleep with Madame, and these are the realities because Madame is available when these people you know meet that 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 thing are we saying that men should 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 ignore the 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 the, 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 the sexual and emotional needs no we are in in fact we are not saying that we should do that but we're saying that sometimes that ignoring pushes yeah, them but, to do that yeah but now there's, there's a point there's a point i'm struggling to make here yes that the men seemingly like apostle and b is said is that rich wealthy and busy guys really don't have time for that yes now are we not seeing that women are always very ready for that because they themselves are not economically empowered and financially because a way of curbing their disposition to some of this cheating and uh, sleeping around tendency is for them to get really occupied yes yeah. the truth is even though sex in last period of time mm. was more of procreation mm. and everything, I realized that one of the reasons why our mothers were not so much promiscuous was their busy nature. They were all busy. They were very <laughs> busy. busy nature. When you go to Monaco, who are the people who pay house rents for these girls? 
who are the people who come and buy gas bottle for these girls? Are they not busy people? Rich people? They are the ones coming. You go to Douala, it's the same thing. You no. go to Yaoundé, it's yeah, the same you are thing. Confirming, you are confirming they are buying because yes. these yes. girls are available. If these girls themselves were very busy, busy. they will not have that time. Yeah. That's what we are talking about. Yes. yes, but what about the busy man? I, the I, man get, his point. I get his point. I get his point. But it means that at home, what he gets there that is boring. He doesn't get the active. So he's looking for the active for for, for some for some for some David was old and you, they gave him all kinds of blanket yes. you are contradicting you are contradicting yourself there because yes. I don't know whether it's Apostle and they will say that the single ladies are going for these guys because yeah. these guys don't have time to follow them because they will don't not be there all the time. Yes, why do they do that one thing? Come, yes, and, yeah. and, and and okay, this is what I wanted to say. Yes. Please. The truth there is Sometimes we always confuse consistency with things that pops up. Yes. You see, that I was saying it the other day. Yes. I, I think I made the same. I said, you see, a man will flaunt five hundred thousand and give you as transport, mm. right, mm -hmm. for something he wants. Then later on, but if you look at how much he has been spending chronologically for the children, right, he might not throw that money like that. But you will discover. I always say that a man truly knows what he wants for a long period of time. So the truth is, they come for this thing for excitement. Mm -hmm. A man can travel here to have sex in Yaoundé and come back. And come back. Mm -hmm. A busy man. Yes, true. Not an idle man. But true. But because the idle man don't have money to pay transport. <laughs> but, a busy but, man. True. <laughs> yes, let, let me get the point. <laughs> but the thing is this. Once that man wakes up from there, I was saying on the phone, once that man wakes up from that place, that's the between a man and a woman, mm. he goes back to position himself. While a woman still wants to wants to relieve mm -hmm. the experience mm -hmm. he had and that's why a woman can poison a man in the house because of a boyfriend but a man will live and have three four families all his life when the only guy knows that they will die these are realities so we must always try to understand this and that is the danger women it's have for man that does that or your rich man no wait let me come let no, me get to hear that thing <laughs> the man that has many families in different places no no it's a poor man but, or your rich man but, 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 but get my point but the the the, the, the points we are establishing here yes. I, I think is that the men were very available yes and the women who are also very available, available. Yes. are those that have time so I'm talking about. yes yes are those that have time good and they have time now, for a now, period of should, time. Should, should we not also tell these women who are sleeping around that yes. if actually you want to curb, because we are looking at how we, to curb. We, yes, that is a woman that is truly occupied and busy mm -hmm. to some extent. It will. Have, that's the, mm -hmm. that's what the, the point I wanted to really make here. Mm -hmm. That sometimes they don't know because when you sit down and you are your mind is too open these things always affect it you will discover that a woman who is truly pursuing something and building something can easily understand these other aspects mm. of of the man they're so, they, they, they are, at least they are shielded mm. from certain of these things and then most of the times also is there now it goes now to the reverse i've seen where a woman somebody's husband has been they have slept with a woman just for five thousand seven thousand ten thousand somebody's wife has been slept you know they, they slept with somebody's wife so you would discover that now some men now who can handle this thing well also don't have now that finances because there's something with this life once you have this other thing you start discovering the one you don't have and i think we need to bring that balance here because the truth is there is nobody there's hardly a person you will marry that will give you that full balance that we are picturing i was saying that the mm. people should create time for their spouse Okay. no matter how busy you, you are, are. Yes. that is what i'm talking about okay you can always create time i am saying that because i know what i'm talking okay this time that we don't have we can create time for our spouse once a week or twice a week it will be enough or maybe at the end for of her. the month you people look for leisure times okay to go somewhere yes create time uh, apostle ambe um this phenomenon we are we going to be seeing more of it in the future and uh, how do we prepare ourselves because technology is advancing we don't so know we don't, today they are using dna to 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 denote mm -hmm. who, who actually has a child we do not know what may happen tomorrow maybe you they will just need a machine where both of you go through and then we know whether it is your child or not how do we look into the future apostle lambi um the first thing we have to establish here is that uh, no science will stop cheating. 
-hmm. No discovery, no scientific discovery will substitute because sometimes cheating is far beyond just feelings, emotions, and uh, sentiments. Mm -hmm. There are some of these things that are spiritual. I have had cases of men who sleep with their wife on the same bed they do not erect. Perfect. But once they go out, to another they area. erect. Perfect. How do you explain that you have your own wife in the house, you sleep with her, your man who does not erect? But as soon as you leave and go outside to look for another person, your man would erect. That's spiritual. Not necessarily. This Some is... women take their husbands for granted. No. And it becomes a problem. <laughs> no, yes. sir. No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Yeah, woman will give you what to No, sir. Because she don't no, sir. Sir. No, it's, it's spiritual. It's spiritual. <laughs> Let us acknowledge the spiritual aspect. There's a spiritual side of anyway. manipulation. Because <laughs> I have had about four to five cases come to me. The man would tell me that, Pastor, I will be sincere before you. When I sleep with my wife, I struggle. Every energy in me, I do not erect. There are persons who are watching me right now who are going through what I'm talking about. And if you are a victim, please, you need prayers. Contact a pastor. Contact a man of God for deliverance. Because some spiritual manipulation is taking over your home. I believe the devil is out to promote adultery. And that's the more reason why it will, the devil will make you not feel for your wife and empower you to feel for another woman. Mm. It will make your emotions driven towards somebody else, not your wife. I've had a son in ministry who got married to his wife. After three months, his penny was no longer erecting. And the young man ran to me. I gave him a 21 day fasting. He recovered, and now they are fine. This is to let you understand that spiritually, sin is promoted by the devil. And adultery is a sin that the devil can use every mechanism on ground to promote it. So we are going to see more of these things, and that adultery, which has been influenced by spiritual manipulation, is far beyond science. It's far beyond any discovery in yeah, science. Because, because some 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 women may be eyeing your husband. Yes, and, of course. And they they, they, they do some charms. Man, yes, yes, manipulation. Yes, mm -hmm. these things occur. Mm -hmm. A woman can look at you and admire you, even though you are married. She devises a means to drag you over, mm -hmm. and then when you you when know she serves you food, and then for you realize you start developing interest towards her. Mm -hmm. These are some of the things you must put into serious consideration. So when you start sensing that pull away from your family towards mm -hmm. another woman you need prayers you need to call in servants of god to pray except you don't believe in the supernatural because it is real it's real i've had cases of women who have run to my church how their husband have abandoned them and ran into the house of a woman, another woman when you compare the woman that the woman is running to and the one that he left <laughs> is light and darkness yes there is no taste in the other woman in terms of attraction, in terms of beauty, in terms of class. But you see the man that's where he's comfortably seated while he abandons the family back at home. This is what the to put in The spiritual aspect should not be neglected. I'm speaking as a clergy and somebody who has experienced this thing because if I did not have first hand experience in all what I'm talking right now, I wouldn't have brought it up. So we should understand that the spiritual aspect of this issue called adultery and fornication and the cheating stuff is also very, very pivotal and yes, very paramount yes. when we are dealing with these issues. People yes, should yes. go in for prayers when they discover that certain things are no longer normal in their lives. If people are sincere who are watching this program, they will tell me, they will write me after this or write Mr. Leo to tell him that what Apostle just said is true. That when I lie with my wife on the bed, I don't get erection. But as soon as I go to try it outside, I find myself that is a device put in place by the devil to upgrade the standard of adultery in the society. So we need to take this into serious consideration. And if you are a victim, you can come for prayers who will help you to cast out that devil and restructure your system back to give you a blissful marriage. Now, that is the spiritual. Mm -hmm. Coming back to the aspect of the fact that are we going to see more of this? We are going to see more of this, Mr. Leo, because people are very very egocentric i can tell you that the self-centeredness of some individuals is the reason why how does a man is in a house with a woman and then suddenly sees a girl that comes from america he goes and impregnate that girl because he's looking for visa through that girl to go to the u.s because the wife in the house is not a channel through which she can travel we are talking this on one side of the women, women cheating i have seen men abandon their family and following men that have money yeah. because they feel like okay they can find security under that woman they rush after the woman, impregnate her, and then look for a means of even getting married to her so that the woman can be as a ladder. Such a woman is not even burst out of love. She becomes a destiny helper because the man is seeing you as a ladder through which he wants to make his way through and be able to help his family that is poor back at home. Especially I saw a man who was who is having three kids with a wife here in Mabanda, 
got in contact with Latin America and began focusing with the Latin, wanted to go and marry Latin America because when they asked him, he said, that's the only person that can help her go to America to work on to take care of her three children who are sorry of Banda. So, <laughs> so I'm trying to explain a lot of things that influence this extramarital affair and giving birth of children here and there. Do you, do you believe that if a lady who is single, is a billionaire, comes and meet a man who is frustrated financially, <laughs> and the man wants to hold on to that lady, who will not impregnate her, he will impregnate the lady as a lot of to and find his way to the connect. top. Connect. And connect them very well. So we are seeing all these things happen in the society, and, and, and these things are not going to stop because no matter the science that comes, when a man wants to get a woman that is rich, the first thing he has to do is plant a seed in her. That seed becomes a bridge between the man and the woman for eternity. It binds them together. So these are some of the things we must put this into consideration when we are talking about the issue of technology growing to the extent where women can be afraid. Women are not afraid. Men are not afraid when they are desperate because the fear was supposed to have started in the very act of adultery. The fear would have started in the very act of fornication. But since they are not afraid of fornication, it is God who condemns fornication. It is man that will condemn you with DNA. If you will not fear God, no man they will fear. Eh? People not fear God who condemns adultery. Is it machine they will be afraid of? Okay, they will not be afraid of uh, Mr. Hello, good evening. It's kindness from but men at times it's the mindset of your mind is not stable. You can't feel her, neither even stay on her for long. Okay, uh, good evening to you, uh, kindness. Greetings, Mr. Liu and panelists on screen. I have seen a scenario where a woman has delivered two children, the last two children outside the matrimonial home, and the husband doesn't have any issue but the brother-in-laws are agitating so my question is what can be the proper advice to be given to this family uh, brother John Mark is writing from my phone yes uh, uh, did you get it I not really get the question that is I have seen a scenario where a woman has delivered two children okay. the last two children outside the matrimonial home and the husband doesn't have any issue but the brother-in-laws are agitating so my question is what can be the proper advice to be given to this family brother no there is nothing that nobody can force something on somebody when the person mm. does not want it mm. if this man is okay with it i don't think his brothers they will only add it is normal okay for brothers to want to protect their brother mm. but at the end of the day just like how if you want to marry the, uh, and even brothers they don't like the woman <laughs> and you insist and insist you would still go so i think uh, yeah, if he is okay and he has his reason and he wants to keep his home i think families we should encourage families staying together mm. than families breaking if the man is willing to accommodate it and deal with it we should encourage it not instead try to force him to be angry sometimes the some, some people will have good heart but other people are instead the ones who keep pushing and say you know the man do something yes it is done it is done and if the man is willing to deal with it, let's just say encourage him so that their family will be together rather than destroying the, the family. Okay. Um, Apostle, there's a funny message there. Uh, no. Uh, there's one here that I really love. <laughs> yes. Yes, they said, good evening. My husband is a hogger or something. I said, and hardly have time for sex. Mm. I feel guilty to ask for sex because I know he's stressed a lot. How do I talk or behave toward him without getting him feel bad? Mm hmm yeah the guy the guy the guy works a lot yeah and so i hardly have time for me mm -hmm. no, but there are, there are some people like that there are so many people that naturally they don't have time for that mm -hmm. but if you see a man that really loves it and all mm -hmm. of a sudden he begins to tell you that he's too busy mm -hmm. find out where he's coming from <laughs> that's it yes a man that really loves the thing but this is saying that he does not she does, she's looking for a way how does she, that she she feels guilty to ask for sex because yes. I know he's stressed a lot. So how do I talk or behave but towards him without normally, getting it? Women normally don't like to ask for that for several reasons because even if she likes sex, she will tell you that she would she would, she would make you to understand that you uh, should be the one to ask. You should be the one to ask yes. because of what she doesn't want you to think that yes. she is too I mean, that, that is foolishness of monumental <laughs> <The> proportion. <Okay. laughs> What's that? You call it foolishness, but they it's say it's their pride. Foolishness to yeah. think that your husband will look must be the only one to ask. Someone, you want to ask you for sex. You are risking another woman outside. What will about be him that? What about the woman that wants the, the woman that wants for you to remove the bra or the pant? Huh? You, you see, you are the one to remove the yeah, There is a message here of please, a woman please. who has said that the husband should give her head. Mm. And see, the husband says he doesn't want to give her head. <laughs> She's not bringing problems. <laughs> that he wants a divorce. Only for those who understand that head, yes. you continue from there. <laughs> 
Can a man know his uh, <laughs> child with has uh, blood group? Okay, good evening, Mr. Liu. My husband is a hunger. Okay, we took that already. Oh, yeah. Mr. Liu, good evening. It's kindness from Bamenda. We took that already. Uh, good things, Mr. Liu and apostles in the house. Uh, now you just need to have money and some girls will be ready to marry you. Imagine you are in the village in a serious relationship with a lady and one guy will graduate as a teacher from ENS Bambili. Come home and just take your girl simply because you are not yet working. Robinson is writing from Bambalang. I don't know whether that happened to you. Robinson, Asha, take courage. Once more, good evening, Mr. Liu and the clergy in the studio. Please, my second question is, as a Christian, is it okay for a couple to use different uh, in order to satisfy each other? Because I watch a man of God saying, any man using dog style, allowing a woman to climb on him. Okay, um, yes, but let's look look at it. Uh, should should how do we make love in a dignified manner to either the man or the husband so that we don't go? Uh, I don't know whether it's worldly because the Bible says that we are in the world, but we are not of the world. Yes, yes, Mr. Liu, yes, Mr. Liu, Mr. Liu, there is no spiritual way of making love. No spiritual, there is no holy way. The Bible says, "Enjoy the wife of your youth." As a matter of fact, they emphasize in Prophet of Father, suck her breast often. Mm -hmm. So it is yeah, it's scriptural. It's scriptural. scriptural. Mm -hmm. Those of you who read Bible and think that you wrote it for God. You should read it and understand the way it is. Satisfy the wife of your youth. And the only thing they tell us, the woman's body belongs to the man. And the man's body belongs to the woman. So if you want to carry her on your head, the body belongs to you. If you want to carry her on her shoulder, it belongs to you. So please, but stop all this, your spiritualization. of sex. There is no spiritual connotation in scripture when it has to do with sex. Anybody who said that, if you climb on a woman, you go to heaven, you to tell us the chapter, the book, and the verse. Apostle, but you should, uh, I just think that it should be balanced in such a way that both of you should look for what is comfortable for you too. Because the truth about it is that you must know the passion okay. of your, of your, of your uh, man or woman. That has to do with two of you now. Thank you, Apostle. Is this scripture? Thank you. Thank We're you. talking scriptural way of making love here. <laughs> Apostle, thank you for coming. Thank you very much, Mr. Leo. We're talking thank about the scriptural way of making love. Uh, my, my, my fellow colleagues here, yeah, I thank you all for listening to us. You can always call us and chat with us for us to know more and how to go forward. Well, this marriage thing, so you know if you do what you want. Yeah. Try to okay. find out how you can get help. Thank you too for coming, Apostle Andy. Yes, thank you, Mr. Leo. Please, uh, we we might have used some vulgar language yes. according to you here, but we yes. are trying to pass across an information to help you better understand the message why we are here. We are actually here to educate you and to help you understand properly the subject matter, not there to please you. Thank you. Okay. Um <laughs> Dr. Bison says that talk there for climax. Okay, good to meet you, Dr. Yeah, thank you for coming. To thank you. I want to salute everybody. Some people try to get to me. They say they were around the southwest region and they want to meet the love doctor live. Well, I'm always around. You can get to me on 6755282666. 6755282666, and we can talk or meet um, if you're within the southwest region. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, to all of you who took time off to watch this edition. We hope you learned uh, something from uh, the program. And to you, Desmond and Eli for production. Tabi, Tambi Bryant for supervision. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.